breaking confidentiality. He, this, he's ending this section with. Somebody shares something with you and he says, it's in confidence. Okay? Now, how many people abide by that? You know, everybody, you know, they find that it's impossible for a person to commit the perfect crime. Why? Why can't a person commit the perfect crime? Because if it is so special, the ego of the thief or of the person who committed the crime, he can't, he can't keep it to himself. He has to share it with someone. But ultimately, that, that's, what, that's what, why he's caught. Because he shared it with someone. Because he's going to co commit that perfect crime. And he's going to pull the wool over everybody's arm. He'll never be found out. Then how long could you keep that quiet? You know, initially, your ego doesn't allow you. You'll share it to one person. That one person may share it with another person. Because it's something, it's a very juicy piece of information. And ultimately, that's how the person's caught. It's the same thing, confidentiality. That that you share something confidence with me, you know, I feel privileged. It's privileged information. I'm privileged. So if I'm privileged, I have to tell somebody else that I'm a privileged person. That this person shared in confidence whatever the piece of information was. So therefore, it's the same idea. You want to share with someone else that you're a privileged person because you have privileged information and you're going to divulge it. But of course, not everything. And if you do, you'll have the person swear to you that it will never share with someone else. And everybody, it's a whole chain that goes on here. But for factually, you have no right. You have no right to share it under any circumstance. Breaking confidentiality is literally, it's almost, it's, it's not Lushen Hara. It's not Lushen Hara. Of course, even let's say it's something which doesn't reflect anything negative on him. But again, it could hurt him if it's confidential. It is. It could hurt him financially. It could hurt him reputation-wise or whatever it may be. The person wants to share with him that he's having certain financial issues. And he goes and shares with the others. We discussed earlier. People who, who, who lose his credit line. People won't want, want, want to give him credit or people will immediately see his assets when he wants a certain price, they won't pay it. Because they know since he's in need of cash, they'll actually press him against the wall. And he'll have to sell it for less. Eventually become a, a fire sale. You know? So what was, but what did I say? You said, you said volumes. But you said you put fuel on the fire and now it's become an, uh, uh, an inferno. It's out of control. This man now is going to be liable for this. It's interesting, you know, insider information. At one time, it wasn't illegal. But because it became illegal, that's why people can keep their mouths shut. You understand? Once there's a, lie, there's a consequence of jail time or a very serious fine, people understand.